So the good news is there definitely are triangular arbitrage opportunities on Uniswap v3. I finished the prototype tool. I want to get your opinion and your thoughts on this. The bad news is that I don't see very large opportunities, nothing that I would really spend my time trading. But I do know that there's people who watch this channel who use this kind of stuff anyway. They use this information to place trades. They do things in different ways. They find it useful. And a lot of people who don't, you know, there's people that have signed up before for arbitrage and been really disappointed with it. So I think the important thing here is I just want to show you what I've found with Uniswap V3 triangular arbitrage and get your feedback. Is this something that should be added to our Crypto Wizards platform? Or should it just be something that, you know, we keep as an interesting video here for YouTube? So let's run some real arbitrage opportunities right now and see what you think. So the first thing here is, you know, we've got the, num the number of coins that we want to run this for. So I'm going to have it scan through 250 coins and look at all the possible triangular arbitrage combinations for those. I could do a higher amount and I would get loads more opportunities, but it runs far quicker at 250 for the purpose of this video. The other thing is the minimum surface rate. So the surface rate just tells you if I look at a high level, what the arbitrage returns would be, do they match at least whatever percent I put here? So I'm going to say, look, I want to see at least stuff with 5% because in reality, when you get into the order book, it's probably a lot lower. So when you get into the depth of the AMM, it's probably a lot lower. Um, I could put 1% and look for opportunities where you could trade large capital and low rates, but I'm going to just stick with 5% here. So it's very easy. You just hit search ARBs and... This has been a lot of fun to build. It doesn't take very long. It returns all of the potential triangular arbitrage opportunities here. So for example, here's one that says it's you know 171%, which is huge. So that, let's look at that one, right? So here we're trading USDC to wrapped Ether. And this is a forward direction. So that means we would start with USDC. If we were doing this reverse, we would start with wrapped Ether and trade it backwards. And so different coins work or different triangular pairs work in forward, but maybe not reverse. This looks at both. If I scroll down, you'll see that there's some reverse opportunities that it's found as well, where you would start with USDT and trade the other direction. So what's useful here is it actually tells you how you would trade this, right? So if you're going to start with USDC, what's the rate you would exchange it at? What do you get back? Then what do you do with that? What do you get back in the new coin, etc.? I'm not very interested in that. I want to know the depth, not just the high level surface rate arbitrage opportunity. And so, you know, I've built this so that you can actually just go and check the depth really quickly. It will default to an input amount of one. So in this case, it would be one US dollar because this is a forward direction. If I just hit uh, check on that, you'll see that it'll go and actually fetch the depth of these three pairs and yes there is in fact real triangular arbitrage here and then here it's spitting something very useful out it's actually spitting out three cards these are like the three legs to the trade to execute a triangular arbitrage uh, profitably and what's really useful about this is for people that still haven't got their head around triangular arbitrage this is really going to lay out for you how the trade would work so you know we start with usdc and we exchange it for WETH or wrapped Ethereum. So if I start with one over here, you know, input one uh, USDC, I get this amount of wrapped Ethereum out. And then I take that wrapped Ethereum. So you'll see this number here. It's the same as the input on the second leg of the trade. And I exchange wrapped Ethereum for Rune. And then I get this output amount. And then I take, you know, 0.133 Rune and I exchange it for USDC. And I get back this amount in USDC. Now my input was one, my output was 2.69. So my profit would be $1.69 and my profit or loss would be, you know, in terms of percentage would be 169%. I'll change this to say percentage. So that's really good to know, but that's for $1 and we're not going to do this for $1. So let's, you know, let's hit $10 and see how that returns and, and whether that looks like it's profitable or not. Bear in mind, you have to pay gas fees as well on Ethereum. You need there to be some level of worthiness to actually place this trade. Well, there is $8 worth of profit here. 
and 83.2% in terms of percentage terms. Well, great. Let's try $100 and see now what that would return. So if I just keep checking this and upping the amount, it tells me whether I'm going to hit profit or loss. And I would actually lose $16, nearly 17 USDC, basically, if I executed this with $100 worth. You know, if we go back down and let's say let's trade it with 50 and see what that would look like. It's just very easy to play around. Now, in reality, to cover gas fees, you know, you need a fair amount of USD uh, C or whatever you're trading and you need a fair amount of cost to back it up. And therefore, you must get a certain level of profit. Fifty dollars still loses money. And in fact, I'm going to do one more for 30 and then I'm going to show you a reverse arbitrage opportunity. So if I you know, did this for 30 bucks, you know, I would make three dollars profit. Now, is that really worth it for 30 bucks? No, because I'm going to spend more than three dollars on gas fees, right? So yes, there are triangular arbitrage opportunities happening here. If you didn't pay any gas fees or you paid very low gas fees, you would make money. This is great because these are actual quotes coming back from the Uniswap V3 contract. And I've shown you in previous videos how I've actually coded that up. So for those of you who are interested in programming, you can actually uh, go back and look at the last two videos I did and you will see uh, right there how I coded to actually go and check for arbitrage opportunities. And then I just made it do it three times with different input and output amounts. It was actually really complex, if I'm honest. It took me a while to really get it so that the numbers made sense. So if I scroll down, let's go and find a reverse item. So here's one for one inch. Let's trade that for $1 because apparently there's a 46% return uh, on one inch. And actually, even with $1, these mid-level quotes are very optimistic. The reality is it's a 43% return or 43 cents on your trade. But now let's put this to $10 and see what that would return. Probably a loss. Probably it's going to eat away all the depth. Uh, so when I run that here, you can see there's a 24% loss. And it's kind of easy to predict because I see one inch appearing everywhere, right? So one inch is pretty much on everything. Probably if I optimize this further, what I would do is have it so that you can then exclude a certain coin. So you could punch in like whatever you want to exclude here so that you don't have all that noise. But regardless, these are profitable arbitrage opportunities. And of course, I've said, you know, this channel and this information is here for educational and entertainment purposes only. Arbitrage is hugely risky, no matter what you've been told. But I want to know from you folk out there who, you know, watch the channel, uh, you in particular, you have an idea of what is useful in trading and what is not. Is it useful to know that there's a potential arbitrage opportunity on Rune. Is it possible that it makes sense just to trade Ethereum for Rune and set, you know, some kind of order to to exit out of Rune or place the opposite trade somewhere else? How would you use this information to close the gap, you know, without having to get crushed by the by the crazy, you know, fees? And the other thing is, if you did this on Pancake Swap or somewhere where the the fees were a lot lower. You know, would you actually use this? Would you trade it? So basically what I'm saying is, is this a tool you want on Crypto Wizards? If so, I'll put it there. It'll take a bit of time to program it in and get it all, you know, flush and working the way I would want it to. But I'm happy to put it in. So put a thumbs up if you want it in Crypto Wizards. If you don't, put a thumbs down. I'm fine to get thumbs down on videos. That's absolutely fine. Put a thumbs down if you think it shouldn't be in there. So this was a great adventure, a project well worthwhile. If I was to take it further, I would look at doing other exchanges, but also I would also look at, you know, how do you automate the trading side? Um, but really, I want to bring opportunities to the platform that are useful for people. So there you go.